Welcome to the stream. I realized I'm running low on hard drive space, <laughs> so... It's okay. Black Friday this week, I'll pick up a new hard drive. I've been meaning to do it, I just forgot. Anyway. Doing more of this. There's just difficult stages left, I'm... Well, I guess... Oh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I would assume so. I'm kind of up to the point where, uh... I got up to... Before I lost my save data all those years ago. Yeah, I went the wrong way. If I'm in the mood for that very annoying Kaizo level, I will try it, but otherwise, let's just continue down this normal path. Ah. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? So I grabbed it and Yoshi ate it, okay. Good to see the glitch passive is alive and well. Alright, uh, right. Oh, I hate this already. <laughs> I hate this already. You know, they never really explain what these ominous spheres are in the game. What? I was supposed to go down. As a kid, I, I don't know, like, I assumed they were balls of gas, I, but I'm not really sure what they are. Like, for them to be able to move like that. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Huge green balls of what though? So hey Nick though. For the life of me, I I can't remember if you can spin jump off them. Point of advice, you can control your fall speed with a cape by holding or releasing the button. You know, you know, that would have been useful information to tell me before you shot me out of a cannon. I can't get it. Okay. Hey, let me give you this piece of advice, literally the, the second you need it. Oh, I s okay. Oh, I guess I'm just dead, huh? Why, why is that necessary? <laughs> like... I wonder whose voice that is.
It's funny. Yeah, d don't get me wrong, it's, it's amusing. I saw it last time I played this, that's why, like, I'm not reacting as much, but... It's one of those things that's funny the first time you see it, and then the other time it's just, like, one of the websites from the 1990s and early 2000s, where they put a sound effect behind every button. Like, you would click a button, it would make a farting sound. You would put your mouse over a button, it would make a burp. It's, it's like that. The novelty wears off very quickly. Pretty much instantly. It's a troll in itself, I, I guess. So what did it say? It says you can release your bu- You release the button to control trajectory. I mean, it worked, but <laughs> it still took a hit. Hey. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, see, that what I, that's what I was supposed to do. But I, I did not have a cape anymore. The past week has been pretty rough for me in terms of getting a full night's sleep. And it's not because I can't get to sleep, it's because I've been awoken by one of two things. It's either A, a mosquito. Or B, the neighbors making like some weird fucking sound that sounds like they're either moving furniture or, I don't know, I, I, having a wrestling match at like three in the morning. I honestly cannot figure it out, and... Weird fucking sounds. It's not rhythm. I, I ruled it out. It, it can't be. There's, n there's no rhythm. It's, it's too infrequent. It's not like it's... I thought it was weird sex sounds as well. Like, what else could happen at three in the morning? But then... It doesn't make any sense. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not dead. Um, it's not rhythmic. It's not like a, a thump, 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 like, and then it gets quicker or whatever. It's not that at all. It's kind of like you'll hear something and then maybe 30 seconds later you'll hear it again. And then maybe another 15 seconds later you'll hear it. But then it'll happen twice. It's, it's just, it's fucking weird. And it only goes on for maybe five seconds at a time. Dryads, the nymph of the tree, are rude. Mischievous creatures. They sometimes make pipes lead to the bottomless pit. You're gonna be that dude who, blog? Oh, right. You know, after this game, I think he's only appeared in one other Mario game. What does it want me to- Oh, you- <laughs> What? Oh, oh, that- Oh, I get what they're doing. I have to hold down to crouch. Okay. No, there has to be a way to do this. <laughs> Can't do it. I don't want to lose the cape.
I get what it's doing. <laughs> this is annoying. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh. All right. Uh. Uh. uh hi, Laura. <laughs> Okay, I know what it wants me to do, I'm just being impatient. Now. There. Huh? I was supposed to take a hit. How's things? <laughs> Clearly everything is fine. You don't understand what's happening. It's simple. I can't go down the pipes. <laughs> Damn it. I have to get through each section, it's like a little puzzle. So here I'm big, I can't go across. If I hold down, I'm gonna go into the pipe that just sends me back to the start. So I have to take damage here. Damn it. Not like that. I mean, at least it's not taking my lives away, so it's fine. I can be here as long as I want. I'm just being inept. There we go. That's how that's done. Right, and then for this part here... I would assume I have to take a hit from that thing. How's the Amazon going? The Amazon is fine. I haven't really been playing... The Amazon. So, with the Amazonian, one night I found a particular rune that let me make a sword. There we go. And so what I did, left Yoshi coin, right pass. Okay, Yoshi coin. So what I did, I leveled up a barbarian so I can make a... a barbarian that farms the Travancle. I did it wrong. To cut a long story short, I've been killing the Travancle over and over again with the Barbarian. I've found quite, quite a bit of progress. But yeah, the Amazon has call to arms now, and now I'm farming keys so I can go do Ubers eventually. Which is going to be scary, but I think I'm capable. I just haven't been playing it on stream because, like, to be honest, <laughs> not that many people are into me playing Diablo that often, so... I've just been playing off stream. Oh, okay. You would, yeah, but like, that, you know me, the times I start playing, that's typically when you're in bed. I don't know, lately I've been more of just streaming when 
I feel like I can have a conversation. Especially if work's been busy, it's just, like, some nights I just want to play and not really talk as much. And, I don't know, I feel like that doesn't make a good viewing experience. What, what am I supposed to do here? You're buying a puppy for your dad? Oh, the one that you were talking about? Okay. Here's a question, why can't... Why can't I just do that? Oh. Okay, maybe there's more to this than I thought. Is that not... what? Okay. I get what it's trying to get me to do now. I'm just failing at it miserably. <laughs> But I get it now. Each one is a test. Well done. Well done. Oh, I, I have completely ruined this. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. dude. Game please! Oh, I have to jump. Ah. Yeah, I, I think people underestimate. I mean, particularly if they don't own a pet. Like, if they live with one and then that pet goes away, just how much they will miss them. I know this firsthand because I lived in a house where there was a cat, and that cat was just a very, very nice cat. Now, this was when I used to have Fridays off. He, he would know that I'd be home on Fridays, like... First thing on Friday would just be there, like, scratching on my door, waiting.
Dogs aren't six grand anymore. They were six grand, jeez. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's like a pandemic. Up. What do you mean up? Oh, there is something here that I'm clearly not aware of. Oh, I don't- I don't like this one bit. <laughs> I hate this. Who designed this? Oh, th there's even a time? There's a time on this. Oh, come on. I have to be overcomplicating this somehow. Like, what, what am I missing here? If there was a shortage of water, you know people would be out selling bottles of water for like $50. That's just... Oh, damn it. That's just how it is. It was the same thing with cars. Cars... Increased in value. And I think I'm messing up by spinning. I think I shouldn't spin. I had the idea, it's just I messed up by spinning. I guess I just want to get out of the. Maybe if I just release the button. Oh, yeah, no, that works. That works. This level was great up until this point. What? This is not fun. This is the opposite of fun. This is like Mario Maker 2 viewer level where the viewer gets angry that you don't finish their level. Streamer, please, why you not finish my level where it takes you... Over 40 minutes to do the first 30 seconds of the stage. You just need to learn the stage, streamer. I think what it wants me to do is land on the first block. But... Or... <sighs> Those Koopas down... Here's the thing, if I spin jump... Oh, you did- Oh, you absolute wanker. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was a bottomless pit. Okay. Normal flying can't pass through those turn blocks. Well, that's uh, that's the definition of insanity right there. Trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Spin flying would fall before reaching the top. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, I believe the term you're looking for is Schadenfraud, or whatever it is in German, which is like... The pleasure of seeing someone else be miserable. Shut up! 
Okay, I have 90 s- I have 90 seconds. You have the same word in Norwegian, no kidding. Okay. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? How am I supposed to do this? That, that's, that's all well and good, but... What good is this? Okay, so it wants me to get the shell, but like... Oh. No, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Ah! I get it. I just, I think I realized it too late. No, I have to make it land so it falls. Okay. Plus three equals death. Oh yeah. Damn it. How far back am I? I always find it funny just German language in general. They just appear to have a word for everything. German Pokemon names are especially hilarious. Like, look at Tonga's schlep. Would have been great. Oh, dude. I don't understand what's going on here in Melbourne, in all honesty. It's basically December and the weather here is like winter, where it's rainy and miserable. And even stranger, there's just mosquitoes everywhere. I thought it was just here, but it's not. I asked some co-workers and... That's fine during the evening. That's usually when they're out. But... Here, it's like 1pm and I go outside and there's... Five or six mosquitoes waiting to go inside. And that's what's been keeping me up, is like... I'll wake up in the middle of the night to either A, the sounds of my neighbors doing some god knows what <laughs> it's not sex, they're not, they're not fucking or just the sound of a mosquito buzzing <laughs> so, that's, that's been me I've honestly just been playing Diablo in bed and watching stuff. Wait, what? Okay, it's gone. Okay. 
Okay, good. See, it's simple when you know how. Quick chat, what's two plus three? Hey, yeah, yeah, no, thanks so much for the raid. How's it going? You know what? Wait, what? Oh, right. I think I've played a, a Mario Maker level that was that. <laughs> it was math problems. I just had a flashback to, it was a multiplayer stage, and I think it was 5 plus 7, and everyone except me got it wrong. And that's how I won. Scaffolding scuffle. Yeah, me too, you think it's common. What, getting 5 plus 7 wrong? I feel like I've heard this music, I don't know what it's from. Math questions in Mario Maker, I know. I was just being a smartass. Good, well done. Okay, <laughs> that did not work out for me. Damn, this map's almost done. And then... Ugh, the only stages that remain are... The ones that I've been trying to avoid. One of them is straight up uh, what I was making fun of earlier, which is... The level that gets submitted by a viewer. And they get annoyed because you never finish it. I need to memorize these, which is the one that goes to... I think it's this one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's not intuitive. You're gonna make a shit stage just for me. <sighs> I mean, I haven't touched that game... Well, uh, I touched it earlier this year, but the difference was I didn't do viewer levels. I I went on Reddit and a bunch of YouTube compilations and found stages that I think I would personally enjoy instead of uh, subjecting myself to viewer levels. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. <laughs> I, uh... I'm just laughing because I added an auto mod filter that would get rid of exclamation add, which is the command people use for Mario Maker streams. <laughs> just block that term on my stream chat. Wait, is this not done? What's chains, chains of Atrophy? Oh, I haven't done the normal version of the stage. Okay, um... I'll have to keep that in mind. Well, it's not there anymore, it's gone. I got- I had to undo it. I'm talking about when I had the stream, not now. It's, it's obviously gone now. Like, why would I have that filter? That being said, if you type, can I join, you won't be able- you won't be allowed to type, can I join. Because that's when I play Terraria and that's- I feel like that gets asked every time. That is 100% still filtered. <laughs> it's not that I don't play with my viewers, right? It's like, I have viewers that I... I play games with, because they're my friends, right? But like... It's specifically targeted at... 
The ones that turn up in chat, and that's the very first message they send. It's like the equivalent of, imagine I was in my living room playing games, and you were there in my living room as well. And then someone walks by, sees through the window that I'm playing a game. They knock on the door and go, hey, can I join? Like, how weird is that? And yeah, the answer is always no. <laughs> Yoshi forever banned. Yeah, I mean... I have been in a couple streams where they have let random people join, and it's usually the same thing. It's like a little kid that wants to show off the gear they have. So. Yeah. Uh, this might sound bad, but you, you gotta appreciate the context of, um, it's my cousin, and this is typically the relationship we have, we just give each other shit. But, um, it, it came up last time at a family get-together that he played Terraria, and I showed him some of the stuff I did in Terraria. And then, he was like, do you stream Terraria? And I was like, yeah. And then he goes, can I play with you? And then I go, no. <laughs> and he, he laughed because he understood. He knows, you know, streamers that play Terraria, that's, that's typically the answer every time. How old is my cousin? Uh, he's 12. Or 13 now. No, wait, he's older. He'd be turning 14. Jeez, he's getting old. Wow. I'm a dream crusher. Nah, he was fine. Listen, that's, that's not, that's not the first time I've done something like that here. There, there was once where he was, uh... He was asking his... He was asking me about a game. And, you know, I was telling him that I'd played it, blah blah blah, and then he asked me how much it is. I tell him, and then he turns around to his sister and just goes, Oi, get me a gift card. <laughs> it was, like, so... in such a rude way. And, yeah, that, that became a meme for a while, is just... Anytime we're playing something like Jackbox or whatever. Stuff like, what's the worst thing you can t say to someone on a bus would appear. And then the answer would be, oi, give me a gift card. So, you know, he, he got, he got shit <laughs> for quite a, quite a few gatherings. It's okay, he dishes it out as well. It's fine. I figured I needed live, so let's just set that. So, yeah. Beep. Heading off. All right, Laura, see you. I think I'm just gonna walk there because otherwise I'm just gonna take forever to figure out which is the correct star. Even though I only saw it a few minutes ago, I'm going to forget already.
There's a few other things in um, the bot slash auto mod that only people that have been here multiple years will probably know about and be able to trigger, but I'm not going to say it. They're Easter eggs at this point. This is gonna bother me. But I know, I know what this is from, I just can't put my finger on it. Or well, I've heard it before. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Okay. Oh, come on. I, I hate this. <laughs> Who's the spy? Okay. Just double checking. When I play this, all I want to do is just meet the requirement that I finish one stage. Per string, that's it. As long as I hit that, that's fine. Because then it feels like progress has been made. It's a really interesting thing, that. This is one of these things that is teaching you Mario stuff. Jam didn't work. Ah. Oh, I can't go down. Alright, you know what? No, I want to join the pass together. Wait a minute. Oh, this, ha this has two exits. It has to have two exits. Okay. Even though this song is simple, I really like it. Oh, okay. There was a lot of nice music. A lot of it comes from other games. This one's just relaxing. Unlike the level. Wait, what? I know, it was, it was definitely like, uh, one of the other stages that I absolutely hated. 
it had um, in a snowbound land from Donkey Kong Country 2. And though I was hating the level, it was balanced by just how much that song is relaxing. <laughs> Yeah, the music was great. It was a way to vent that frustration. I wanted to uh, go back to Zelda 2, but I'm saving it for the weekend. I didn't realize the enhanced version was going to have so much extra stuff. Like, to the point where I have to play it like as if it's a new game. Hmm. Doing this with the assumption, like, as if there's... There's a second... There has to be a second exit. How else is that path going to connect? Oh, wait. I know how. That has one exit. Ha. Two exits, so it tells you. Okay, so now, let me see. Yep, it has two exits. Alright, so. I have to find it. I wonder if any of these give you a clue. topic of, uh, Pokemon, which I did mention earlier. Oh dear. The new game. I was on the fence about it. But, here's the thing. I've heard that from a gameplay perspective, it's actually really good. However, it is quite possibly one of the buggiest games to come out this year, and clearly it's, it's been released in a unfinished state. And I'm kind of torn because it's, I don't want to reward that, but by the same token, the glitches look hilarious. They, they just do. Because I have a tendency to just find these glitches naturally without looking them up, uh, it would be good, but yeah, I don't know. You've seen some clips. Oh yeah, some of them are great. Like the one where the, the person's body just stretches for no reason whatsoever. I think... One of the best... Wait, what? One of the best ones that I've read is if you get a second controller and hold the same direction you're traveling in, your character will move at twice the speed. So it takes the input from two controllers and then combines them, so. That's, uh, yeah. That's quality control right there from... I'm not exaggerating, the, la <laughs> the largest franchise in the world. Pretty sure it's, like, the largest kids franchise at the very least. Listen, like, you can enjoy that game. It's fine, right? 
I'm not gonna rain on your parade for enjoying the game. And I'm sure the, the gameplay is enjoyable and I would have fun with it. But you must criticize the things you love so that maybe the people making them will do better. I don't have to die. And it's, look, the Switch, it's not a powerful system. We all know this. It's apparent that it is in desperate need of uh, a revision, right? But even with that, it, that game should not look the way it does or runs the way it does. You can draw the comparison to something like Xenobra Xenoblade. That game looks fantastic for what it is. Like, on the hardware it's running, not the gameplay, that is. And... I mean, look at Diablo 3. That, that game runs at 60 FPS. Doom as well is another very good port. Just the way it runs on, on the Switch. And it's just one of these things where... Unless they're criticized for it, I just don't see it changing. You can, you can be a fan of the series and the game itself, but... Don't be blind to the stuff that is quite clearly flawed. They most definitely did rush it, because... The games are kind of like on an insane development cycle now. What have I done? Am I going- I'm going backwards. Oh, okay. That seems useful. I'm so confused by the stage. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do there? Or is that the secret? Like, haha, you have to find out. I don't know. I don't mind, I get to listen to the music. I just want an easy way to be able to cross, cut across this, you know? making one of these rum hacks, I would pretty much cut the middleman out and just give the cape at every single stage except the one that, uh, I would explicitly be like, no capes allowed in this stage. Oh, I went into the wrong stage. 
Because I'm gonna do this every time. Like it's it's a quality of life thing. Why wouldn't I want it? People would follow up with making levels that are hard to beat with the cape. Yeah, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Because you're getting the required tool in the stage. What the heck does it want? Is this really what I have to do here? Um, huh. I think I'm complicating it. The hat. <sighs> I think I know what it wants me to do. I just, I don't like. I don't like what I'm thinking it is, I guess. I get the feeling that I need to get the P block and bring it with me. But I'm not going to do that until I rule one thing out. Jumps is stressing me out. Okay, so here's the problem. Holy crap, dude. Alright, so that's not the answer. Fuck me, then. <laughs> What's the answer? You know what would be useful, Yoshi? If I could take him in, he could step on those spikes, no problem. Hmm. 
I wonder if this has got a... a hint, like some of the other stages do. I'm not going to try that again because it didn't work. So this is a reset. This is what I'm trying to understand is why. seems dumb. Oh, okay. And see, now I'm... Yeah, but then... I might need to look this up <laughs> if I can't figure it out. I did this- the way I did the stage normally, I went through the hidden door and then that brought me there and it gets me a P block. You can't take the key through the door, so it has to be one... One go. Okay, I'm gonna try going through the door. happen. Except now I don't have to stress about this. I'm gonna bring this as far as I can. Aha! Aha! Was that was that worth the almost twenty minutes? Yeah. Path made. the stage just because it has these fire flowers in it. Anything that's a bullet hell don't tend to like. It's 
Why? <laughs> it's just a constant punch in the crotch. That guy. just realized something. I am the stupid. There's a cape in this level at the start. I was trying to do a no hesitate. Uh, what is this? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, really? I can't go inside the building? Oh, that one I can? The blaze spreads until it is blocked by solid objects or there's no land to burn. Or you, you, you murder the thing? Huh? A yellow bordered net is a magnetic net which can capture lightning. It's not so possible to climb on a net of this kind though. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm not! <laughs> uh, damn it. I, I mean... It's a fun stage. Oh, there's no dragon coins. Okay. I don't have to worry then. Stage took away my cape. It converted it to mushrooms. I thought it had floating mechanics. That's so rude. I didn't think any other stage has done that mid stage. I can't believe that. that, that wow, that's that's such a dick move.
You know why it does it? It's because a cape would make your life easy here. It would make that part trivial. I mean, if you're going to take my cape away, just put a barricade that I can't get through unless I'm small Mario and then give me a mushroom. Don't... Don't take away my hopes and dreams. <laughs> so annoying. Oh. Alright. Well, best of luck. I have no safety net here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite the annoying... Quite the annoying thing to do. I'm just hoping that this will connect to Star Road, that would be good. So then they have a very easy way of getting a cape in this area. I don't know, this stage gives me Mega Man vibes, kinda. But I, I'm happy that I made it, but this happens to me every time. When I have a safety net, I don't need it. Okay, I completely missed the point of that. They've disabled the scrolling, so I can't despawn it. Mushroom, please. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> yes! Wait, what? Should I not be afraid of that? Stage was almost over. This is peak sound effects. I'm sorry. I'll piss off. It's just classic platforming challenges.
damn it. I, I, I didn't know that was going to crush me. Oh, you dick. Just go. Iframes. Iframes. Oh. <laughs> okay, but like... So that doesn't harm me? I was swindled into believing that that harmed me. Excellent, already ruined it. Oh. I fucking hate this. <laughs> so it told me to worry about the yellow ones, and then it's like, nah, don't worry about the yellow ones. This one's fine. I guess electricity wasn't touching it, so fine, whatever. I have nothing to say. At least it's polite enough to give me mushrooms. It tries to fool me into thinking that block will help me. minute thing. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up so badly. No. <laughs> I hesitated like an idiot. I need to learn that part. It's just... I think I get what I'm supposed to do. I'm just not timing it correctly.
Okay, this is the one I'm getting at this time. didn't work. It's okay. Something like that. Oh my god. <laughs> this house big. Damn it. This rum hack tends to lean towards if you have a mushroom it'll punish you somewhere along the lines for it. We're gonna make the ceiling a little bit too low. That's what you get for not taking damage. There needs to be the constant psychology of just death. Otherwise, this isn't a ROM hack. There's a few interesting ways that the original Mario games did that. There's very similar obstacles, but the only difference between them is that there's a pit. But the blocks in which Mario is likely to jump on are the same, it's just you're led to believe there's more danger than what there really is. So if I was allowed a cape, I'm sure I'd be able to do this without taking damage. Not because I have a cape, but because I feel like I'm not in immediate danger, so I'm not stressing. Also, I just did that. Haha. <laughs> I can't believe it, it fooled me into believing that there was going to be electricity here. Okay. Damn it. Almost. Wow, this is such a... Duh. Okay. Okay. Oh, what now? <laughs> what now? <laughs> what was that? What did it want me to do? <laughs> Did I have to stop? I think I needed to stop all of it. I don't know. All right. I'll... whatever. Let's have a drink. Okay. That's so rude. <laughs> it's just... The only thing missing there was the little dialogue box that would have told me just before the fire hit me, Hey, you need to do this! Point of advice! Don't get hit by the fire! <laughs> almost, almost fell for it.
I learned that um, one of my favorite movies is getting a special re-release that has another 40 minutes of movie, which is kind of cool. The only thing is, I'm not sure it's coming to streaming, I think it's just going to be like a Blu-ray thing, but it's uh, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, it's an old movie with John Candy and Steve Martin. I'm gonna see if I can track it down. Is that really all I had to do? Wow. Oh, what? Okay, but... Oh, this is cursed. Okay. I feel like such an idiot. Wow. <laughs> okay. That broke me a little. But the reason I, I remember that movie was up until that point, I had seen Steve Martin in other movies, ones that were on TV here, and those were typically like Father of the Bride, um... What was the other one he was in? It was like in The Three Amigos, uh, Sergeant Bilko. You know, I thought he was a, a pretty PG actor. And then there's planes, trains, and automobiles where he has a rant with, um, with a car rental service. It's just a monologue where he's just dropping F-bombs for a straight 30 to 40 seconds. Mental. Just could not have pictured that ever growing up. Just always thought, saw him as, like, Jerry Seinfeld, you know? Always clean humor. Jerry Seinfeld doesn't tell any jokes that, um, have swear words or are, like, offensive or anything like that. He's, like, just general banter. Pretty much the equivalent of small talk, only as a comedian. And it's the same for Will Smith, like, imagine Will Smith made rap music where he actually swore. He has other people appear on the show to do that, but I don't think at any point in Seinfeld did they ever do anything like that. I mean, I haven't seen comedians getting coffee, or whatever it is, in car. I forget the name of that show he has, so maybe they do. But his stand-up himself, he's just very clean. So that's how I saw Steve Martin, was like, he was just an actor that was clean. And then I saw planes, trains, and automobiles, and that image was just instantly shattered in about 30 seconds. It was great, I loved every part of it, because it was just hysterical. But yeah, not what I was expecting from that movie going in. Definitely have to try and rewatch the uh, 
the new edition they're releasing of it. It's a great movie. I thought I was clever. Okay, well. I see now. And then this one is stop, stop, up. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright, don't mess this up again. Hit the P-switch somewhere where it's safe. Oh, that, that was wow. I messed it up. I messed up the very last thing. That makes me feel even worse. Doesn't go there. What? One exit. One exit. It doesn't connect here. So what connects to Bowser's castle? Um, impetuous athletic. All right. Or impetuous athletic. Um, also, I don't have to go all the way back for a cape. I can just enter the stage. Like, okay, it's it's a little involved, but... I don't know, I've just been on a 80s movie craze, I guess, lately. Because they're not really releasing that much stuff I'm that interested in. Like, I'm burnt out by superhero movies a little bit. And some of the... I sound like such a boomer now, but like... Some of the movies that are coming out now... They're just... They're very low effort, and... I heard a discussion on this that... We don't really make movies anymore. In that they're, they're so... Formulaic, because... Movie studios don't want to take a risk on something that doesn't sell. So, most movies these days, you kind of already know the plot and everything that's going to happen, more or less, in the first ten minutes. There are exceptions, right? It's not everything, but... Generally speaking, that's what it is these days. It's like... The romantic comedy is always going to be the same. Or, like, a group of adults being immature. Right? It's just... It's- it's almost like the same six movies are being released, just with different characters. You saw a clip about that too. Yeah. It definitely got me thinking. It's true. Oh wow, that was a Christmas miracle in half. So that's why I've been going back and seeing old 80s movies. Particularly comedy ones, because... I mean, okay, sure there's overlap. Like, there always is, right? But not to the extent of where... 90% of the movie is the same.
someone said the same thing about the music industry as well. It's kind of... The, uh, the charts, as they were, it's pretty much the same six artists collaborating with one another. I think it was Chadwick Boseman that said we don't go see movie star, wait, movie star movies anymore, the superhero movies have taken over. Yeah. It's true. That's why I'm kind of, I'm burnt down on them, because there's too many. That's a sick cheese on my part. Before we went to the movies for the actor, now it's a franchise thing. No, it's true. Yeah. I completely agree with that. Particularly in the era of, like, De Niro, Pacino. Or like Sylvester Stallone for action and it was definitely the actor. <laughs> the thing is, in that era of like following the actor. Actors sometimes made very poor choices when it came to going for particular movies. There's quite a few movies that they're not on streaming services, and the only way you can watch them is pretty much if you have a DVD or a VHS, because there's no other way to get them. Like, okay, Adam Sandler's very first movie, holy crap. It's, uh, it's quite the train wreck. I saw, I saw it, um, as a teenager. Because I enjoyed Billy Madison and, and Happy Gilmore. And then we went to the, the movie rental place. And, uh, Yeah, we saw this movie. I'm like, oh, this is this is an Adam Sandler movie we haven't seen. And to be fair, in the all right, in the movie, he does. I think one of the first lines he says is, "This is this is not a low budget movie. This is a no budget movie." But it's like it's not really a no budget movie. There was a budget there. Anyway, it's it's not a great movie, but. I'm of the type that I will watch movies that are really bad just because it's great to watch bad movies sometimes and laugh. So, yeah. If you're into that sort of stuff, definitely check out... It was, I think it's called Going Overboard. You notice? Yeah, but like... <laughs> you appreciate better things when you know how low the bar goes. That's how can you appreciate a fine wine without knowing what like toilet wine tastes like? I know that's a terrible analogy. The wheelchair over the cliff did make up for it. Okay, but to be fair, that that movie is cult following bad, whereas in this one is is bad bad. There's no cult following for Adam Sandler's first movie. You don't have Paul Rudd 
going on Conan, showing a clip from this movie every time he's, you know, trying to promote a movie. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... That's why bad movies have an equally good role. If you're studying film, like, it's a good thing to watch bad movies, because then you know, okay, I know not to do that. Or if someone suggests this to me, I can be like, no, take this movie for instance, they tried that, and it was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like the stage. Oh, okay. I see. What is this? Game, please. Yeah. There's no checkpoint, right? I wonder why that stage is all off in that corner. Like it's not connected to any other stage. Could it be because no one wants to do the stage? There's another low-budget movie that I, I want to see that I haven't seen in a very long time, but it's... It did the rounds on the internet quite a while ago. But it's a... it's a uh, movie... I think it's Ugandan. It's great. <laughs> it has <laughs> very obviously fake special effects. But you can't help but laugh. And it has probably one of the greatest puns I've ever heard. Um, oh, what's it called? It's called Two Kill oh, Captain Something. Hang on. Um... Who Killed Captain Alex? That's the name of the movie. It's from Uganda. Oh my god, yes, what, you've seen it? You've seen clips, yes. Yeah, it's, uh... Cult following. But see, that's a movie where they know the budget they have. They're not... I don't think- I mean, I think they were trying to make a movie that people will be entertained by. And I think they succeeded in that regard.
But yeah, the ugh, the pun, the pun in that movie. They also had a lot of fun making it. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's not like, I don't know, a multi million dollar film that they thought was going to be good and then it flopped and then when people made fun of it they were like oh good people like this movie and then they decided to re-release it in cinemas because they thought hey kids like this movie and then it flopped a second time and now it's <laughs> it's out on streaming services <laughs> where it'll probably flop a third time <laughs> Uh. I had a good laugh at the, the trailer for it. The one that they, they're advertising that Morbius is now out on streaming services. The very first thing they show is they try to give it credibility by associating it with Spider-Man. It's like, from the creators that brought you Spider-Man Homecoming. It's like, okay. O okay. But is the movie as good as it? No. Morbius, the Leto one. Yeah. The Jared Leto one, yeah. Did horrendously in the movies, it became a meme. And then executives were like, oh, it's a meme, let's capitalize on this and release it in the cinemas again. And then it flopped a second time. It's not a good movie. I haven't seen it. But I just... Going by what people have told me, and there are people that I respect um, the opinions of in terms of movie, like, there are people that have never... If they say a movie's bad, I, I will tend to side with them, basically. So, we have very similar tastes. If they say it's bad, it's, it's definitely bad. It just takes one of us saying that it's bad, and then the rest will not check it out. But again, yeah, superhero movies just burnt out. The burnout happened. It happened uh, maybe a bit before uh, Morbius, but yeah, it was already like, eh. Anyway, it's out on streaming services, so, you know. Saving me time. So that's another one of those examples where if you follow the actor, you might enjoy Jared Leto's stuff, but that's the flaw of following the actors. Every now and then, unfortunately, something like that will happen. Where it's like a miscast, or maybe maybe it's just not a great movie. Even great actors can make bad decisions sometimes. Yep. In more ways than one.
And then there are actors that make decisions that, like, change their career, like, uh... Like Robert Downey Jr. from Iron Man. I know it's a superhero movie, but... Man. That's, like, uh, probably one of the best casts next to, like, uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Oh, okay. And, you know, the story behind it was that the... Might be paraphrasing, so correct me if I'm wrong, but, like... Initially, they didn't believe in the movie, and so... The, he got a deal. And then it became really popular and exploded. <laughs> Pretty much led to this whole Marvel Cinematic Universe thing. stage is, is just exhausting. At least the other stages are interesting. This just seems... I don't, I don't know. It's... I don't want to generalize ROM hacks, but it just... There's a type of ROM hack where it, it's kind of like there's no... There's no real central theme around the stage, it's kind of just a bunch of obstacles. And it's all in the interest of just challenging the player. Which, it's fine, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, whatever floats your boat. But right now, it's, it's not what I want. Like, it's the ones like this that side on, on tedium, as opposed to <laughs> being rewarding for doing something. Haha, here's an obstacle you didn't see coming. Lol. Now you're gonna have to start again. And I'm gonna do that to you again. I just didn't want to go to Bowser's Castle with one other stage there, that's all. But upon further inspection, I probably should have just yeah. combo. Oh, come on. He messed me up. Yeah, the state. <laughs> I hate it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I wonder if... Okay, one thing I haven't tried, like, do they... Because some of these, they don't bother to put in a, a Yoshi gate. 
So maybe I am allowed to take Yoshi in there, which in that case... There was another stage that was similar to this one, I wasn't really feeling it, and it allowed Yoshi in, and I was like, yes! <laughs> There's a, there's a Yoshi sign right away, so... Just wishful thinking on my part, thinking there's enough runway here. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi is great. <laughs> a bit of a crutch, but great nonetheless. Work. I was going to say work harder, but smarter, not harder. Oh, this is cursed. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay. stage so much! Ah, oh, it's so exhausting. It's almost warrior time. Okay, yeah, well. I have no defense to that, like, it's, it's just, it happens. I think streaming has definitely... ...made me have less of a filter when it comes to making those noises, because before I had some semblance of self-control. You know, I would just about make the sound and hesitate and be like, oh no, I can't do that. That filter's been removed. Almost entirely. What a fun stage. It's relatable, what? Oh, it's like you're saying the sound that I make is relatable, but I get it. Okay. Get juked. Get juked. This straight up here is just... There's no challenge, it's just annoying. <laughs> That's it, it's... 
I know I'm complaining a lot, and I'm sorry, but it's just... These are the- these are the kind of levels I would skip in Mario Maker. stage tonight has been fun, except that one. <laughs> Who made this stage? See, one of the, the other stages this person made, I had fun with. I do appreciate the irony of, like, a person being called LOL Yoshi, but then not allowing Yoshi in their stage. Maybe that's why they're called LOL Yoshi. What, you're expecting to use Yoshi? Ha! Huh? It's just gonna connect to the castle, that's the worst part. That's all the stage is gonna do, it's gonna connect to the castle. If I don't make that jump, I can't get there, so that's a bit sad. again. Oh wow, that was a Christmas miracle. Okay. I need to go into that stage and just listen to that Donkey Kong music just to calm me down. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, that's not fair. But it's not that Donkey Kong music calms you down, it's just in the context of this game, it would calm me down. Let's just... listen, just... It's a frustrating stage, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Listen to this. See, how can you not like this? This is why this stage wasn't frustrating, because I was enjoying this music. Even though this stage is, is ice, everything is ice. And there's a lot of stuff that can crush you, and it... Fundamentally, this stage is annoying. But, I was able to do it with zero frustration. Because of that music. Meanwhile, the music on the other stage is like bing bang hoo ha hoo ha walla walla bing bang hee hee hoo ha ha bing bang walla walla bing bang. It's just it may as well be circus music. That's from Greece, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I heard that. Probably. We did have to do Greece in uh, primary school. And the teachers desperately tried to censor stuff. It's like kind of inappropriate for children to be singing. Grease Lightning. They would pull- it was so funny. If this was- here's the thing, if this was done these days, these teachers probably would have gotten fired. But like, what they did for us to rehearse... They had, a, a cassette tape. Of the songs from Grease, right? And so when Grease Lightning would come on, there'd be someone singing over it, and you know, there's... There's a lyric where they say the word shit. And of course the teacher would, every time, would be like, Okay, listen, that's not what you're going to sing, you're going to sing this. Now, you try telling that to a bunch of immature children that they're not allowed to say the funny swear word. And see how well that goes. You remember shoplifting the VHS? What? <laughs> it stole grease? And you already had one? Jeez. You know, that's like such a pre-internet kid thing to do. Not the shoplifting, but more just doing a voiceover over something. I feel like everyone did that or did like a radio show thing on a cassette tape. Kind of funny, but hey, I mean, I had to, I had to sing Grace as as a little kid, so it's fine. And then the thing that every I don't, I don't know if it's a national thing, but there's the Tina Turner song "Not Bush City Limits," and there's a dance for it. So pretty much every kid that grew up in the '90s and even I think '80s. 
would have had to have done that dance in primary school, so everyone knows it. And it's just one of those things that's, like, done at weddings, just to be funny. Because everyone's like, oh, I remember when we had to do this in school. You're, uh, you were a walking musical and you're a kid, proper annoying. What, just because you sing? Just because you behave like a child? <laughs> Singing and dancing all the time, but that's what some kids do. It's just part of being a child. So some people don't like children, that's just the thing. They can convince themselves that they want to work with children, or they want to have children, but when it comes to, like, child behavior, they really can't tolerate it. I mean, I've, I've talked about the principle I had in primary school, that the one that would come up with a bunch of rules that are basically just, oh, kids are behaving like children, I'm going to outlaw this. I guess the only way it would be annoying is if you had an annoying singing voice, because, I mean, most kids, they sing fine, right? But sometimes there are people that just aren't made for singing, and I, and I can acknowledge that. <laughs> I was I was told... what? How old would I have been? I would have been, like, seven. Do you, know, do you know what used to happen in Australian schools? Or at least Victorian schools, or in my state. So... One day... I don't know where they were from, they may have been from a church. But they would go around to all these elementary schools, or primary schools, whatever you want to call them. And they, they would go classroom to classroom. And they would line up all the children in a straight line and then they'd be like okay sing the national anthem so everyone would start sing singing the national anthem and this dude would walk past each student put his ear to to their face so he could hear them sing and then the ones he thought sounded good he would hand them a card about like choirs and all this stuff so if you sounded bad, like, he wouldn't hand you a card, and it's just... It, when you think about it, it's just such a fucked up thing. It's like, they put you on the spot, and then you don't get a card, like... I never got a card. So, yeah. I mean... I, I didn't care. I can only admit that it's such a fucked up thing as an adult, because it's it's just like, wow, dude. First of all, it's, it's it'd be one thing if I was trying out for choir and you told me I was bad. That's fair enough. But I wasn't even trying for choir. I was just trying to go about my day, like, coloring in my coloring book. And you come into the classroom and just be like, hey, sing for me. Nah, you fucking suck. You can stop now. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if they still do that. I should I should ask some of my younger cousins. I I can get that unique perspective because I have a few younger cousins that uh are pretty young. I I'm going to ask them next time I see them. I have to remember to do that. Yeah, look, it, it's fine if I was trying out for choir and I got told that. That's fine, but I wasn't. 
I had no interest in choir, and then someone turns up to the classroom, makes me do it. And then it's just like, ah, oh, nah, you suck. It's like, well, I wasn't trying to get into your fucking choir. <laughs> Way to make every single child self-conscious. Except the ones that got the card and were the chosen ones. Maybe I just sounded too manly, you know, for my age. Maybe I just didn't have that angelic voice as a child. find out to what extent this happened. Maybe it was just something that was just local to me, but I feel like I've talked about this with uh, other people, like in real life, right? And it seems to have been a common experience from people that went to school in my era, or primary school, elementary school, whatever. You know what, I should take this, just in case I ruin it. Oh! <laughs> Absolutely despise this. Right, from this point forward, we're taking the cape. <sighs> you dick. Dick! <laughs> I hate this. Oh, I just want this level to be done. I'm losing my mind. Not okay. I'm I'm reaching that point of no return. The point of no return being if a level frustrates you enough, you can quit it. And 
Someone will be like, nah, that's fine. Didn't like it, quit it right away, no problem. But after a certain point, if I spend enough time on it, it just feels like a cop-out if I stop. Because then it's like you, the viewer, has been watching me do this level for I don't know how long now. And then I'm like, nah. The emotional investment. It, it just would be... It wouldn't be good. I'm not at... <laughs> I was about to say, I'm not at the point of complete meltdown, so it's... it's fine. But this has to end one of two ways. Like, I either finish the stage, or I have a large enough meltdown that it's like, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's... maybe it's best that he stops. So, yeah, I, I think we're, we're towards that right now. I was gonna say, is, is that out of sync or what? Oh, that. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, that's not cool, dude. Like. What do you mean it blends into the background? It's, okay, I can, I can see it. This is the furthest I've been. Oh, thank fuck. Ugh. Oh no. What fresh hell is this? but like halfway point. I hope the limiter's working and I'm not just screaming into the mic and it's just ruining people's hearing. Like, wouldn't that be some shit? Checkpoint. 
I might just watch planes. I might just watch planes, trains, and automobiles after this. I'm not even joking. Like I, I need something to make me happy. Now that I've talked about it today, and even if I can't find the new extended version, watching the original would make me laugh. In a non-psychotic way. You know, upon further inspection, the fire flower might be more useful here. I mean, sure, the cape lets me do that, but... Oh, lord! I oh, fucked it. Get up! Get up! <laughs> um... I guess, but there's no easy way to get a fire flower without going further back, so no, just stick with the cape. It's fine. I love it. Just guy. Haha, <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Oh, come on. That's not cool. I have to survive there with the cape. There can't be much more to this left. Okay, I thought I was being clever that there might be a shortcut up there. For fuck's sake, I've lost the cape. Oh, this, this is a cool obstacle. <laughs> it's just... It's just so annoying. It's so annoying. It's to the point where I can thread the needle on this first jump here every time. <laughs> Without fail. Ugh. <sighs> 
Look like it. I don't even think about it. It's just in, then that, then got it. Gonna lose it. Ugh, I just. It's it's leaning towards an hour, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's I, I don't want to look at the clock. I'm not even saying words anymore. stage is draining the soul out of me. <laughs> it's so annoying. Hey, virtual hugging. What's up, dude? How goals it? How's my day aside from the stage? That's alright. Just busy, busy with work. Just sleep's been a bit erratic because of mosquitoes and neighbor being loud as fuck. Discussing childhood memories. And, uh, I guess movies to some extent. Ask you this, dude. When you were in elementary school, did you ever have a choir come to your school and then make all the kids uh, sing? And then if you were a good singer, they would hand you a card, and if you were a crap singer, they wouldn't? Yeah. 
You had your own car. Okay, well, never mind. The stage just doesn't end. Anyone could join, even if you sucked. Okay, well then, that's not the experience I had. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much what used to happen around here, you would have a choir visit schools. They would go around to each classroom, they'd line up everyone, ask them to sing the national anthem together. This dude would walk around and put his ear near your mouth so he could hear you. And then if, if he thought you were good, he would hand you a card. And I was just talking about just how they could do that. <laughs> just crush the self-confidence of such young children. It's, I mean, if we were trying out for choir, that's one thing, but... They just were like, nah, just sing. Oh, you suck. No. Then, then don't ask me to sing. Why? Why? That conversation should have gone, hey. We're from the choir. Who wants to sing for us? A lot of kids voluntarily would have been like, nah, I'm good. So stupid of me. Should have just played it. It's the end is there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, I wonder if the the whole like choirs going around to schools thing was universal. At least from an Australian perspective. I'm more curious that they still do it. It's pretty egregious, not gonna lie. I mean, how could my voice not be good enough for the choir? Probably not because it can't have children having low self-esteem that ruins their future. I mean, I went through that and I'm fine, I think. <laughs> But, like, there's a difference, right? There's a difference with you voluntarily... You're not voluntarily, like, you're going after something and then you get told that you're not good at it. And it's because you have had an interest in it. That's one thing. But it's a completely different thing where it's like you weren't going for it in the first place and you're kind of forced to do it and then you get told you suck. Well, not exactly told you suck, but yeah. I mean, they may as well have. Like, I didn't want this in the first place, like... I don't get mine being told that I'm bad at something that I tried to do. Because it was my choice to do it. It's like, yeah, can't win them all. I'm 
just trying to think like what an adult equivalent of that would be, you know? Passion projects. No, but it's it's not the same thing. That's still you you doing something, right? And then it doesn't work out. That's fine that it doesn't work out. It would be like if I was going about my day, right? And then I don't know, like let's say they said someone comes knocking at my door he's the landlord and he's like i'm going i'm going to evict you unless you can build me this shelf out of wood and then i build the shelf out of wood because i don't want to get evicted and then he's like afterwards thanks for the shelf by the way you suck <laughs> it's just it just leaves, like, such a sour taste in your mouth. It's like, I didn't want to build you the fucking shelf in the first place. I just didn't want to get into trouble. And that's what- that's what it was in- in primary school. It's like, I didn't want to say no to the teacher. The teacher told me to sing for these random people. So I sung for them. I- I don't- I don't know. I don't think the analogy stuck, but... You get what I'm saying. I had, up until that point, I had not once thought about being in the choir or doing anything singing related. And then the very first thing I hear when I try is, Oh, sorry, we're not giving you a card. We- we brought this upon you. But we're here to say, no, you're not good. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. Um... I just want to check something real quick. I I'm done, by the way. Like, that level, if you haven't realized it already, kind of broke me a little. But I just want to check one thing. So we got Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle. Chains of Atrophy, we gotta get Dragon Coins. That's three with Disarray. That stage sucks, by the way. Um, it's this one that goes back, so that's three. And then we have... Four. Assuming that goes up, five. And I would imagine there's one in the middle there, so that's six stages remaining. They could have done something to where they said they would come back in a few days with a special something and then, well, just not come back and have the kid forget. Or you could just be like up front and be like, hey, we're from the choir. Um, we're looking for people to try out. Would you like to try out if you're interested in the choir? But the problem was, and I'm pretty sure this is the reason they did it, was because basically no one did. I'm not trying to say, like, that singing's unpopular or whatever, but... I mean, there's a reason why in high school it's kind of like there's, there's a group of kids that are drama kids, and... It's just... It's a small subset of people that are into that. And they were kind of trying to force it. <laughs> You know, like, they wanted the majority of the kids to try for this choir, but no one really wanted to. And I don't mean the words literally no one, but... They wanted, like, ten kids, and they got one or two, basically, per class. If that. 
Hey, we unlocked it. What is it? Okay, so it's like just general information. I just want to see it in action. Hmm. It doesn't... I don't know where it says it. Weird. Okay, so there's six stages to go, which... I really want to get this done before the end of the year. I'm trying. There's not much time left in the end of the year, and I'm trying to wrap up loose ends in terms of games that I've been playing. Not all of them will be wrapped up, just so you know, but... Um, I've been trying. It's just this one... I can only do so much <laughs> in a stream before I'm like, Oh no, this is... This is starting to get to me. Bridge Constructor Portal. Yeah, I need to finish that. The problem is with that one, I have to be in the right mood to play it because it involves a little bit of thinking and kind of at the point now where one stage is taking 20 minutes, which I think there's only nine, nine. I know there's less than 10 and that's more or less. <sighs> Some of them, it's just, I wish they were shorter. That's all. Because, it, it, let's say, lately, the ones that I've been doing have been taking a minimum of half an hour. And if there's, say, ten remaining, that's quite a bit of stream time to dedicate to Bridge Constructor Portal, which was kind of just like a, a little offside thing, because it didn't take that long to do a stage. I'm not... I'm not sure that one will wrap up this year, but I will get to the end of it, slowly but surely. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Had quite the time, some fun stages and then whatever that last one was, but appreciate you for hanging out nonetheless. I gotta remember now, since doing more stuff on YouTube, uh, you know, all that stuff that YouTube is told to do, you should totally do with this video. Because, yeah, it's good. I hear, I hear good things. Good things are good. Alright, bye.